Hi, I'm Brian Davis, the amateur cook with time on his hands. Now for something completely different. I'm going to cook, or not really cook, I'm going to prepare food for my dog, Wolf, today. Um, you may or may not know, but a raw food diet is considered very beneficial for dogs. But a lot of people have jumped on the raw food bandwagon nowadays and it's become quite expensive. So I've decided to make my own. So I'm wearing a, an apron today because it's going to be messy, right? But I hope you enjoy the video. You'll save it for those of you that have dogs, you'll save a fortune doing it this way and you'll probably produce better food because you know what's going in into what your dog eats. So we go through the ingredients. I've got five kilo of Brazilian fresh beef chuck. I've got two kilos of fresh lamb's liver, two kilos of fresh sardines, half a kilo of steamed carrots with the skin on. This is gonna give Wolf plenty of beta carotene. I've got um, half a kilo of sweet potato with the skins on, which is gonna give him um, plenty of fiber in his diet. So it's important that everything's fresh because we're going to freeze this and it's important to freeze the food because it'll kill off any bacteria or harmful stuff in there. Now the messy job starts. We're going to grind these in my trusty Jeepus meat grinder all down and then we're going to mix it together and pack it off into packs and put them in the freezer. Okay we're going to start with the sardines and we're just going to put them in whole, straight through, grind them up, so enjoy. Wow, this grinder's amazing. It can mince up the sardines faster than I can put them in. Okay, now we'll start with the veggies. We'll just go straight on top of the sardines until the bowl's full, because we're going to mix it all together anyway. Okay, that's the veggies and sardines done. I'm going to put that into a bigger bowl now and mix that up. Um, I'll get on with the liver. I'll mix that up in the same bowl with these two. Then I've got equal proportions to mix together of the beef and the, the liver sardine vegetable mix. This is fresh lamb's liver. That's the liver done. So now I'm going to mix this up with the sardines and the vegetables and then I'm going to prepare the beef, get it cut into manageable sizes, pieces for the grinder, then mix it all together and get it packed off and into the freezer. So I'll just show you how easy it is to mix. You know, I've got it there just with a spatula in a big pot. This is before I add the beef but I want this all mixed up because then I can because this is the largest pot I've got and I won't get it all in. So what I do, I just put it in, in batches there, until I can get it all nice and mixed up. Homogeneous. Oops, I'm not wasting this here. This is the last of the liver. So it is quite messy and a little bit smelly, not overpoweringly so. But you know, what we're making here is like dog, dog caviar. Right, so just get that all nicely mixed in. So it's all distributed equally. And then we just blend this one to one with the beef. So that's a lot easier to do. I think this is about the limit that you can mix by hand. So I put it in, in batches of both the liver and the sardines and the veggies so it does make it easier to mix. You can tell when it's mixed because it just becomes a homogeneous colour and texture. There we go. Right, that's the first half done. On with the meat. Okay, that's all the beef prepared. 
Um, nothing fancy, just cut it up into strips that I can feed into the grinder. This has been the longest operation so far, so we should grind through this fairly quickly. So I think I've got a bit of a jam in the nozzle there, I'll just get that cleaned out and continue. I'm just going to change over the bowl, off we go again, nearly finished. And there we are, we're done. So, now we're just ready for the final mixing. Um, I put mints back into the grinder, so I get all the meat out, and what's left in there is mints, which I can just put back into here. What I'm doing now is measuring out one kilo of each of the mixes and then I mix them together and pack them off in two kilo um, mixes. That's just because it's a lot easier to mix and handle because these are what you see here are the largest dishes that I have. So I've already weighed off a kilo of the sardine vegetable liver mix and that's a kilo of the beef. So I'll just get my mixing bowl, we'll be back, we'll mix up and pack off some and then I'll just finish it all and get it in the freezer. There you see a dog in anticipation. Watch, us, watch him as I cut the meat. He's desperate to come inside the kitchen. Look at his tail wagging. He knows what's going on. He, look at that face. Intense. Wolf, you're not going to have this for a couple of days. I'm sorry. I know you want it, but you can't have it today. Now he's gone to, if I sit down and behave mode, will you give me some of that meat? Please. So I've got a kilo of beef in there. I've got a kilo of the other mix. Um, oops. Clumsy. The clumsy, messy cook, that's me. And then, using the spatula, we've just got to fold that in. You can see why I do it in maximum two kilo batches. Otherwise, it'd just be unmanageable. If I had a big mixer, I'd probably do it in four, three or four litre batches. But I don't. I do everything by hand, or, except for my little mixers and hand processors. But all this stuff, I do by hand. I really should invest in a mixer, I guess. And again, you know when it's mixed, is when it all becomes homogeneous, so obviously it's not mixed fully yet. Okay, we'll be back when we're ready to pack this off. I pack off in half kilos. I use a Ziploc freezer bag. Make sure you use freezer bag bags. And then I put it around a container so I can get the mixture in without contaminating the seal or the back or the back of the um, the outside of the bags. And I pack off. I pack it off in half kilos, 500 grams. There we go. And then all we've got to do then is just lift that up. Hang it up and down. And push as much air as we can out and close the seal. And there you are, homemade dog food. Good for the dog, good for the wallet. Obviously, I'm not going to taste this, but I'll freeze it for a couple of days just to make sure we kill any bacteria or anything that may have been in there. Um, particularly important when you're putting fish into the diet because fish may have worms. You don't know because we're grinding them whole. This will kill them off. And as soon as um, Wolf has the first batch of this, I'll film him to include in the video. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Brian Davis, the amateur cook with time on his hands. See you next time for human food. Okay, we've got a dog here just waiting, just waiting for the instruction to go for his new food, which is just there.
Okay, Wolf, go. He's making a quick meal of that, and it's gone. I think, I think Wolf has said, I like this, and I want some more. Wolf? Yes, give me more.